Good morning, delivered Christians. It's a blessed week for us in Jesus' name. We give praise, glory, and honor to the Lord who saw us through the last week and who has given us the privilege to see yet another week again in the month of August. May the name of the Lord forever be praised in Jesus' name. We're set for our command your week again, and the word for this week is, This week I decree that I am helped by the Lord. I shall thrive, for the Lord will pour water to quench my thirst, and he shall irrigate my parched fields in Jesus' name. This week I decree that I am helped by the Lord. I shall thrive, for the Lord will pour water to quench my thirst thirst and he shall irrigate my parched fields in Jesus name. Deliberate Christians, it is him who the Lord helps that is helped. It is him who the Lord helps that is helped. Man can make promises man can tell you they would bring down the heavens and the earth for you but it is only a man that the Lord helps, that is truly helped. One thing I would usually say is this, if God does not help you, even man will not help you. Joseph was in the prison and he helped the bottler and the cupbearer. And their promise was, oh, when we're released, we would, we would help you. But when one was killed and the other one went back to his duty post, he forgot Joseph completely. So man can forget. Man can actually forget you. They might even have the good intentions at heart to help, but they can forget. And you know how it is that everyone has their own issues to deal with? God is the one who has made our life his matter. There is nobody who would, who would love you so much that all that concerns them, they would abandon and only face your own issue. It is only God. And the reason is because he is our creator. He is the one who made us. He formed us in his image and likeness. And that is why you can reach out to him 24-7, 365 days of the year. And he's ever available to listen to you is ever available to attend to your needs. So this week, I want you to go into the week with that conviction that God wants to help you. And don't stop there, that God will help you. Don't stop there, that God has helped you. So you are riding into this week on the carpet of the help of the Lord. You are walking on the help of the Lord. This does not mean that you will not have to work. This does not mean that you will now go sleep and fold your arms. What it means is that your efforts are going to be powered by the help of the Lord. So when you put in your efforts, the result will not be your effort, but it will be the Lord's hand upon your effort. The word for this week is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Isaiah, chapter 44, from verse 1. And it says, But now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one, the Lord who made you and helps you, says. You know, it's not even saying helped. Helps you. God is continually helping you. The Lord who made you and helps you says, Do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, O dear Israel, my chosen one, for I will pour out water to quench your thirst. So those areas where you've been longing, and you know how it is when the person is thirsty, you're longing, you're trying, you're looking for how to put a stop to the thirst. And the Lord is saying, do not be afraid. He says, I'll pour water out to quench your thirst. You know how it is when you have been out in a sunny day and you finally get a gulp of cold water. That is how this week is going to be by the mercies of the Lord. There is going to be refreshing. The Bible says that he will give refreshing in due season. So he's saying he's going to pour out water to quench our thirst. And he says he will irrigate our parched fields. But one thing is here. He called Jacob his servant. He said, Israel, my chosen one. For every one of us, we have been chosen by the Lord. 
because he went ahead, even while we were in sin, to lay down his life for our sakes. But then, are you serving him? Are you serving him? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? Are you acknowledging that he even died for you? Are you appreciative of the sacrifice that he did on the cross for your sake? Are you giving everything up for him as the Lord and Savior of your soul? This is what will guarantee that you will receive help from him. He wants to help you. He says, call on me and I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. This week is a week we don't know. We don't know what will happen the next hour. We don't even know what will happen in the next minute. But there is a God who has gone ahead. He is the one who lives in tomorrow today. And that is why he is the only one who is guaranteed, who is able to handle our day, our week, and our lifetime. So you'll be making a big mistake if you have not given your life to him. You'll be making a big mistake if you are not serving him moment by moment. As many of us that are willing to receive the help of the Lord this week, as many of us as are willing to receive the help of the Lord to help us to thrive, as many of us as are thirsty and really want the Lord to quench our thirst, as many of us who are living life on dry grounds and we want the Lord to irrigate this parched field, I want you to join me as we pray this morning. Lord, I acknowledge that you are my Lord and Savior. I acknowledge that you did all things. You gave up everything just to save me. This morning, I acknowledge you as my Lord. And I ask that you rule and reign over my life. I choose to serve you in every aspect of my life. This week, I position myself for your help. And I ask, oh Lord Jesus, that you will help me. I trust and I acknowledge that it is him who you help that receives help. This week, I position yourself for my help. In every area of weakness and even in the places of strength, Lord, I ask that you help me. Help me this week, oh God. I don't want to barely survive. I want to thrive. I don't want to barely survive, Lord. I want to thrive. Lord, help me to thrive. This week, I ask, oh God, that you will pour out water to quench my thirst. I ask, oh God, that you will irrigate my past fields. I ask, oh God, that my efforts will not go to waste. I will be helped by you and I will return to give all praises and honor to your name in Jesus' name. You have received the license to thrive this week by the mercies and the power of the Lord. Go and thrive in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed week. And may the mercies of the Lord be with you, uphold you, and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Please share, um, you know, uh, it's going to be, this video is going to be available on our YouTube channel. I'll be sharing that with us just right after this. Have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Amen.